Hello all, all. Terribly sorry about that, folks. I feel like I need to break my teeth for the stream, sorry, and I had some a minor error or two to work through. Give myself a drink. Try to have it prepared ahead of time, but uh, fucked up and stuffed the uh, partial the, the bottle with what the water in it. Partially full bottle of water in it. Upside down, apparently. Without realizing it. Which means I could not add water to it. At the start of the stream. There we go. It did give me time to get this actually posted at the start of the stream. The announcement. I think. Let me just get one last program that I that I sometimes forget. General one I have that I'm not running right now, but I can't because I don't have the thing that I need for it setup wise. Load. Well, technically that's not where we're we're at. I haven't saved in forever. I forgot and I had done that, so I didn't want to lose my shit. Yeah, we got cut off a little into uh fuck. Yeah, uh, just as a precaution, in case I fuck up and save over a death or something while I'm, yeah, because it could happen. It could happen. I'd rather not lose my all my power ups, but me. Eh. Okay, what the fuck? I thought something over there. All right, something. Nope, can't go in there. Okay. Yeah, I still haven't even started uploading these. Uh, some stuff's going on in LL still. Uh, so I haven't, yeah. Uh, but I've been a little behind on that stuff. Yeah, that's not me for streaming, partly because, you know, I do this as a hobby to relax and shit. Ugh. Man, I underestimated how wet wacky Shadowrun could be, and I really shouldn't, given my first introduction was to Sport Gun Wars level of nonsense. For instance, for reference, the Squirt Gun Wars are, uh... Apparently a thing that was done with a certain version of the game where, uh, by at least one person, but it, it probably happened with other groups. Basically, some players noticed that, uh... That, uh, there was this drug you could buy in game that when mixed with other drugs would cause it to seep through uh, and absorb through skin uh, instantly. Pretty much what it, no matter what kind of drug it was, and it would even go through clothes and damn near anything. I don't know what this drug is called, and I, frankly, I'm not uh, well, chemical is called, and I'm not naming names because frankly, it's apparently a real life thing, and it uses the real life thing. Point is, uh, the story as I was told it, uh, is that, you know, players discovered this and then came up with the ingenious idea of bu buying military grade long range super soakers, filling them with, uh, okay, fine, fuck you. Oh, that was unexpected. And then mixing them with other forms of lethal, uh, drugs and killing them in people via, well, for, uh, gun, uh, shots then basically bypass any and all armor used by their enemies. Incredibly silly, but also incredibly deadly. And it, it forced the, G the GM to eventually uh, escalate in kind. Until the game became nothing but sh people shooting at each other with uh, squirt guns. So I really should have expected to be silly. I just thought that was like one little rules exploit that basically, you know, involved in everyone agreeing, this was silly, let's stop doing this. 
because everybody was running around in hazmat suits and s squirt guns and water balloons. Just, yeah. It's a silly, silly place they went. Silly, silly place. It's a, a fascinating and interesting story. It was my first introduction to Shadowrun. I just, you know, thought that was not the norm and the result of m players munchkinning something. Like, to be fair, the story actually did legit make it, it interesting how they were handling it. It's like, before it escalated it into, you know, both sides doing it, but the uh, GM just made it so you couldn't get a hold of this stuff and without certain ways, so, you know, it had an interesting knockoff effect of the players planning heists all about just getting more or less stuff to use it in their weapons. Yeah, you know, that's interesting. But, uh, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, uh, now, it, may, it almost certainly depends on from group changes from group to group, but this particular one, uh, I'm watching, uh, Mirror Shades, that's the name. Four parts in, and they're at the point where the monkish healer, I think they're a monkish healer, I'm not actually sure what the fuck they are exactly, uh, is healing another party, injured party member by singing songs at them. And blowing uh, goofy ass smoke and throwing feathers at them and back and forth, in fact, and such. All while, you know, the rest of the party is trying to get out of a job that gone wrong as the introductory uh, session. It's just all kinds of. What? And I just don't. Uh, yeah. Just a, a whole bunch of what the fuck going on with that one. Ha ha ha! But yeah, uh, thank goodness for that fucking homing effect. That, sometimes it's not great, but I don't know if that will do anything for me. Motherfucker. Yeah, you fucking die. Fucker's not dropping anything. Oh, I'm gonna take this. But yeah, what, what, what I heard someone uh, uh, describe Shadowrun as, you know, a collection of lo lunatics, uh, it, it suddenly makes a lot more sense when you've got, like, the uh, experienced uh, Shadowrunner who's constantly about, what am I running with? Amateurs? Uh, such, you know, complaints, and then you got the other person who's like, well, I, I, I parked... Why don't you park your car? Uh, the car. Uh, thing... Near yeah, McDonald's? Just, I mean, it's funny, and, you know, it's interesting to watch and listen to, but, yeah. This isn't me, you know, criticizing or anything. Just, you know, I wasn't expecting that. Which, I mean, yeah, it's just, I think, describing that setting I was talking about, a bit dystopia as, you know, the Shadowrun setting makes even more sense now, because, yeah, it, it's a setting made from a mixture of different video game stuff. You've got to... And sure, it does some things I think are a little too grim darky to fit th th this vibe, like making rings and, and E tanks into, into drugs. Yeah, again, at least make uh, E tank into a drug for robots, you know? Don't make it a normal thing. Alright, so there's something up there, and there's that door. Let's hit four up first. Okay, well, five it is. Cause like, yeah, it's a setting with robot with uh, Mega Man style robots, uh, Sonic, uh, various different race forms of animal races in uh, video games. All right, well, that didn't go quite the way I wanted it. Holy shit, I cannot believe that works. But yeah, uh... My item... Heal. How many healing... Oh, two, I can get two healing kits. That's what I've been focusing on. My... I don't need to constantly deal with uh, cures and 
I don't think I'll need any more cure ampoules. Once that gets filled up, I'm gonna go buy some other stuff. But for now, you know, next time we'll buy some roast beefs and shit. Hey, you know what? Fuck it, it's not worth it. My jumps go a wiggly sometimes. I do not like that. It's a setting where Pac-Man, uh, exists as, uh, one of the mini ex -sol woo, 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 soldiers of the, uh, crash, and, uh, where Bubsy Bobcat exists as some sort of, uh, rampaging uh, addict and such in the background, if you want. That's one of the more, uh, dark slash goofy dark examples. So, I saw someone ring up. It's, yeah, a bunch of old video games and all they're goofy and, uh, that's funny, but I'm not taking that. The idea of getting knocked down there and not losing health because I got blasted down there instead of falling or losing the amount of health I would have from that fall. Oh, God damn it, you. I thought I was faster. Okay, apparently... Between action view and uh, battle view, it inverts it left and right. That's weird. Anyways, uh, god damn it. Anyways, so yeah, no, it, it definitely fits the same kind of, like just to go, go into some of the, uh, I mean, I definitely think I am like some of the more serious focusing within it. That I'm treating that like dying as far as I'm concerned. Well, I'm not treating that like dying. Dead. I'm just gonna go around here and try to collect things. If I'm going down here this way, I might as well go get everything I can. Use that to my advantage. Oh! Nope. I picked up without intending to. God damn it. Just picked up automatically. Honestly, worth it just for the extra this. A little run low on these. Burp, burp, burp. Oh. <sighs> Shut up. Anyways, where was I fucking... I'll pick it up on the way back. Or I'll miss. Like I consistently have been doing. I'm leaving. Anyways. Where was I fucking going with this? Uh, uh, and like, even when you, you do treat everything with seriousness, it's still a setting where you could... Uh... Have Lieutenant Surge from Pokemon be old war buddies with Jax from Mortal Kombat, and so on and so forth. Or Mario Brothers as like the only heroes that are generally operating fully, uh, with no issues in the public. They're even hired by the, a lot of the big bad guy make works because they're really good at their job. Which uh, plumbing's the uh, serious business. Serious business in the in uh, eight bit dystopia because like uh, the pipe works exist, which are you know massive randomly built uh, starting sewage system before shifting to uh, uh, connections to a massive amounts of underground caverns, underground lost civilizations, and so on and so forth. Oh, well, I'll take that hit, then. Ah, ah. Still going down here to get this one. Possibly any other, uh... Torches? Yeah, any other torches there are down here. Nah, that's nothing. It's pretty, uh, after that point, they don't just give me red jewels. Or money. Either one would be nice. It's an innately s s silly thing, but I like it. And, uh, yeah, what's got me into it is a, a lot of the people who uh, do world building and such and help develop the system Right, either quests, uh, RPs where you uh, control a uh, character or, in most of the case, is uh, organization within this setting. Or, uh, in case one guy writes a story center, Zoanthropy. If you don't get the reference, that's a reference to Zoanthropes from Bloody Roar. TLDR werewolf-esque uh, brawler, or not brawler, but fighting game. 
I've never played it. Don't know a lot about it outside of, you know, they just turned a lot of people, uh, uh, apparently responsible for turning a lot of people into them. I don't know if they're natural things to setting normally, but in here they're all artificially created. That one's a bit of a, uh, what's known as a self-insert story, which might sound bad, but these guys had the habit of writing at least mildly good ones, as well as stuff involving original setting characters. He ran in a arch, uh, fun Archie comic one I found only after he ended up ru running out of steam on it. Seemingly never to come back. But he moved on to writing an Archie comic. I saw that's good, go, been going on for a while. That one's pretty, pretty fun. The philanthropy one. Basically, in that one, the premise is the main character, the Asai, ends up in that world and manages to just barely survive on the streets long enough to get picked up by that one group and used as a test subject for, uh... Yeah, I was originally going to... going after these guys with this, but honestly, the, this, uh, homing blast thing is so much fucking better for this. Oh, shit. Uh, that, 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 that. I have to take a break as soon as this fucker is dead. Right, okay, uh, I'm gonna take a break. We'll be back soon. Well, I'm glad I took that break. I was just like, oh, the dogs are making extra noise and probably bothering people. I should go take care of that. Miss fucking escape artist over here without. Of course, the moment I call her, she zooms back in, but. I don't even know how, <laughs> but it's also you know, dark out, so. Ugh. I have to go over with the uh, family to. Let's try to figure out what the fuck to do about the camera. Uh, I, I still haven't fed track. Is there anything else around here that I need to go? Oh. I am running around and checking all of these now. Sun card. But I'm thinking games and such. I know uh, that one guy I told you about who's running the SI. Uh, oh, I should get into that. Uh, yeah. Getting a proper job, work, and yeah, working for the Niam Codes. He was, what? I've looked up the names, uh, but I got nothing. I've got some characters with ideas that are, you know. Uh, yeah. Wearing. Went for something, alliteration that was meant to be throw away, and it, it got stuck with it as his, uh, bone fro identity. <laughs> oh, I hate this. It's longer than I thought.
in order. Ah, uh, got a safe spot. Yes, I'm going to keep using save states, but over the save spots themselves, but I prefer uh, doing the save states over these. Heal, healing kits wasted both our time. Oop. Troublesome dog popped up. She came back in the moment I called her, so. Yeah, you know, it's better than it could be, all things told. Okay, well, motherfucker. But yeah, I, I, I just enjoy reading. But, uh, it was, you know, as. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, we're gonna heal that. Yeah. Uh, coming up with an, a, a uh, put, uh, the idea of pushing to, uh, as uh, FC in wrong. a bit too dangerous, so uh, they got shut down. For want their uh, uh, race gambling and a new uh, gambling on races, ultra dangerous races, and. Yeah, there are, of course, other gambling things that completely uh, make sense. And get, making betting off that? Yeah, that, that's easy, at least. Yeah, basically just amounts to being moved from off the books uh, muscle to on the books muscle. Dedicated to, you know, protecting com the company's interests. Which made you get a video boxing. Yeah, the punch out box. Apparently, according to him, Balrog stole one of his moves and he's pissed. A, a turtle uh, racer from F Zero, but uh, who is Pit, that's well known, uh, with uh, Octopus Dude from the same game series. Sir. They don't look like they're- oh, there we go. I was waiting for them to disappear first. Honestly speaking, the last area is- fuck. I hate, I hate this area. <laughs> Will give me enough uh, red to, to recover and I don't- Anticipate fighting any boss that super duper needs these for my other attacks, so fuck it. If I get more, I get more, but I'm going to just try to bah, speed run this area. Especially. But yeah, interesting mixing. Like, yeah, you know, both of these characters are uh, actually vets from the Lilat War. Yeah, Lilat is the thing that had basically. Uh, the main thing to this thing I believe I mentioned is the crash happened. Space invaders showed up, wrecked the Earth. Uh, and united long enough to hold them off and to escape. I 
How did I do that? I literally said I wouldn't do that, and then I was like, oh, that's too good to resist. Fuck you. We're not doing that again. Uplifts, uh, we're meant to, to help pave the way, sin ahead, uplifted animals. Uh, but, while some of them ma made it, uh, most didn't, and most ended up, uh, in the, uh, arc, si uh, the lilac system. Then the whole plot of Star Fox happens. The good guys win! But not before the enemy released enough terror weapons that the planet, it, the system is rendered uh, uninhabitable. And, uh, with, for, for more than one last generation, so everyone flees to the to the place they were originally supposed to go. Princess Stalmanair, aka uh, hi fuck you. Ugh. I was trying to just kill this one. But. Oh, I almost fucking eaten myself again. Hey, save. Yeah, a lot of the uh, better off uplifts actually came from there, uh, but not all. Another confusion is all the supernatural martial arts. Well, this is this is the setting where magic and such and so on and this and so that stuff tends to just pop up. And if you know where you're looking, with even a bit of sword knowledge, you can get yourself to access some some high quality shit. The main character does just that by tracking down uh, the third Double Dragon brother, who is, you know, cause yeah, there were free Double Dragon brothers. And it was a family technique. And there's uh, like two games where you can play at them, and in one, he is a yellow version of his brothers, but in uh, others, he's. Holy shit. You're fucking luck. We're gonna observe this to see how long this fucking lasts. Okay, it lasts long enough to get over there. Gotcha. Alright, that held no personal benefit to me, but I destroyed it anyways. In case it would be important. <laughs> fucking yeah. We're almost fucking done. In fact, we're so close to being done since I, I don't. Actually, I do have enough to get a uh, few more uh, healing kits, and I think that'll, uh, that's all, all I can get anyways. Oh, only one. Oh, no, it's not enough, but uh, I have enough. Okay, well, fine. We'll leave it and see if I can't make up a, the difference to buy a, a roast beef. Admittedly, this is good, a good room of stuff to get. It gives you a power-up and everything. Super and nearly every kind of weapon you could want. And I think this is where you, you'd fight him if you... Alright, well. You surprised me. Hey, you're able to be able to feed it the front of those warrior. It's still not too late. Give your soul and power the Dracula. It's a simple matter. 
the lives of a hundred children. I assume my own child to attain this pride of eternal life. Eat this lady. She was really, she was really my oh, only my son. My mother gave her life to save mine. She truly loved you saved and showed me happiness. Your child received no love from her mother. Her mother. That's that's pathetic. Oh dear, you make me so sad. Me just as my child did. How pitiful. I love no one as well other than myself. I think we got at your heart the kiss of my lord. He builds her little barriers, but it doesn't cover everything, and there's always a gap. Or I could make one. Fuck you. I dodged that. Ah. I got you when your shields were down. I like the, the mechanics of that boss fight. I have the power to subdue Dracula himself. You have no chance. I have the power to strangle himself. You have no chance. Dracula knows this. He's your, merely the lame. Dracula, the only you can only, 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 only you can I, and I never forgive. Only you can I never forgive. Anyways, uh, yeah, yeah. Punch it. It's like, yeah, he, uh, but yeah, uh, the third brother apparently goes on to be something I have a hat has been with a lot of self doubts, uh, and some of the revi uh, Double Dragon revival stuff, which fits perfectly within the set. So he just tracks him down and pays him to teach him. And well, he doesn't get, you know, taught uh, to the level of the Double Dragon Brothers or to the level of uh, even um, study himself, he does get. Uh, some things and goes to somebody else who's willing to teach him and picks up more and manages to develop you know just enough supernatural combat juju the various stuff to combine with the whole I'm a fucking giant super strong mole monster thing he already naturally has going on even if it makes it's the story goes out of its way to make clear he's not un some unstoppable juggernaut or, or anything Ron's bull still beats the the shit out of him. When they fight. He has to use in a Braun v Braun fight against a Bobo, he uh, would have lost, and it was only because of, you know, general uh, trickery and planning 
that he gets the edge in, in that fight. Uh, that's annoying. This is gonna be annoying. I can tell. I remember this being annoying now. And when he gets uh, attacked by uh, the other set of Dribble Dragon Warriors, because there are multiple of them, also indeed carried by Sunny, they're working for the bad guy. Uh, yeah, just to help establish the main character was not even special in regard to that. Sure, he actually did impress Sonny enough to say some good things about him, but that just meant playing the target on his back. And while he did win that fight against those two, he did it because they didn't fully understand all, what everything he was capable of. And he was on a co and he was, unlike them, on combat steps. Ring, which again, I've established I'm not fond of. You could maybe convince me to make it that way in my own games, but I... Okay, I gotta go up there. I'm gonna go ahead and just save us all some fucking time and make a safe state in here after I climb up. Just because this is a, this is tedious bull bullshit and... It really should have been a, a save right after the load zone switch. Boop, boop. But yeah, there's just something about the setting and, and how these different things interact and bleed into each other. I think some of them are, are, are already uh, interacting and intermixing it too much to my taste. Like maybe having the pay out the emeralds, which are actually a thing. I didn't realize that already. The setting stuff said he was practicing his chaos theory. Or studying chaos theory, not that the chaos emeralds were actually a thing. I thought it would, was going to be one of case where he invented the Chaos Emeralds rather than find them, but I'm not sure if I entirely like the idea of having uh, Materia and the Chaos Emeralds be sort of the same thing. Yeah, because Materia is a thing. As up to seven, but that I don't have a problem with. That's neat. I just don't think they should be the same thing. Maybe a similar thing. But I think it would be neat to include the Final Fantasy's uh, live stream setup as connection to that. Materia is what you get when you get the elements that uh, could become Chaos Emeralds uh, that aren't strong enough on their own to form Chaos Emeralds exposed to the spirits of the dead. Hmm. It was swerving. I thought I might have seen something. Right, there's stuff down there. Why would I want to go down there? There's a save down there. That's why I would want to go down there. Also this. Also, lots of things, apparently. But, you know, in settings like this, hell, tabletop settings in general. Okay, so this is not where I would want to come up and it be coming up anyway, is that my bad. Because I find it more interesting to have the different disparate elements, uh, but yeah. Mix, both as uh, plot from the villains and uh, actions of the heroes. Like, what happens if you, say, take the elemental uh, stones of Neo Kanto and use them as a sort of knockoff material. Oh, I survived that, so I'm not counting that one against me too much. All right, well. No, that's just a safe landing port, not somewhere I, I should have been aiming. <laughs> All right. Like, what happens if you give uh, an electric scene character a lightning, uh, a, uh, lightning stone? 
What can Wily do with that? What can anybody do that? What happens if you expose Pokemon, which are mutant freaks in this setting, resulting of the development of something called Mew. Moo. Not Mew, my mistake. Moo. Except for, uh, and fossil type Pokemon are, uh, the alien fossils exposed to Moo. Like, what happens if you expose some of the things from, uh, material, uh, Pikachu to a lightning, a, a pa fully powered up bolt area? There we go. <laughs> uh, I made it. Okay. Like, something that I'll mind combining, like I said, just take Final Fantasy VII's afterlife system and staple it on to, uh, Well, everything else, including Hyrule, so that place is now filled with urn with the dead of Hyrule as well. Okay, boop. Uh, thank goodness. Fuck you, fine. I fucked up. I accidentally fell off it, didn't he do? Uh, you get that. Okay. Like, ancient relics of Hyrule being refurbished as things players can get. In fact, I don't even actually have that one heavily focused on in my plans. I... Even though that's totally what I want to... Damn. Okay, I need to think about how to integrate, uh... DD tech and the Hyrule stuff in. Well, I, I plan on just having characters get acquired so other things. Now I want an arc where they get that stuff. And... He, I'm gonna be more vague because uh, about my, my mini plans because like I might actually end up with my future players listening to this or such. And I don't want to say something and give the game away about the overall plan I've got with my characters. The stuff I'm willing to say, you know, like I'm planning on having an Ojo Sama type Johnson. <laughs> That's not really a spoiler too much since. Oops. I'm still leaving details and such, and yeah. Yeah, I hadn't even thought about that, but I, I didn't feel like I need to immerse myself with all the ideas people have about the setting and such before I can uh, say one way or another how I'd handle that. Like, I know what I want my the first arc to follow up on for the most part. Yeah, bothering Wily Tech, uh, Egg Dine, and uh, Kate, and more rarely, Vet Farm, and dealing with small gangs and such. But I think you know, going after groups wielding stolen Hyrulean relics, either to acquire them for collectors as uh, uh, an off thing, or acquire them for well, a collector when it comes to their main boss. Ha ha ha! Come on, let's get for this clock tower escape, yeah? Okay, that was not the last room where we used that guy. Well, uh, in that case, I know this isn't the last room either, so... But... Not yet. I didn't even get... Yeah, you know, I really should. Like, I, I knew I wanted to pull with Zelda stuff from, like, uh, much further than the, the limit uh, of the Gen 5 consoles, but, like, th that's fine. Lots of people people pull from way, uh, later stuff here and there when it comes to, you know, Zelda stuff. Like, Free Breath of the Wild is where I'm going with this, and even then to more limited extent. Oh, well, I was conveniently, uh, done. Use, good. The sooner it starts from spinning the flames, the sooner I can trust it to stop. Ow. Oh. I'm just gonna make another save after I get the fucking key. Save myself some trouble to get some more uh, water on my drink. But yeah, 
If I can't get an idea from all of them, I think. I know I wanted to, you know, pull from stuff, uh, princess here and there, artifacts, and so on and so forth. But maybe not so heavily in the first arc. Mostly, the first arc would be the, them acquiring uh, either one-off things for uh, one or two other handlers. I think I, I, I'll probably give them two. No, I'll, I'll give them a couple side handlers, because I feel like, you know, Johnson's is the Shadowrunner turn. Okay. Nope. That cushion's my fall enough that it's not a... Yeah, because, like, the way I, I, I want it is better to be... Uh, no, nah, I think arcs. Arcs is probably the best way to say it. Where the, the characters are more... So that's how I was actually supposed to get down there. So me coming... Yeah, okay, well, I, no, I, I was an idiot. That was the way I was supposed to come over here. Well, that was a waste of time. I didn't even see that ledge until I just then. But yeah, uh, yeah, this is not a time manipulation clock. Or is it? I'll look around in here for other things, but I don't think it is. No, okay. I have no idea where I'm going for a moment here. Give me a moment to figure that out. Now, I want to focus on, on a more centralized area for the first arc without them having the ability to really cross a lot of zones on their own without the assistance of direct assistance of uh, their Johnson, and even then that would be a rarity early on. Then they'd acquire a vehicle, that would be Arc 2, where they have, if not more freedom fully yet, move over to a new area and focus on different things there for a while uh, before the full freedom kicks in. I fully admit in my idea that this are basically inspired by uh, some of the Final Fantasy I've been playing. I think, yeah, fits the, the idea here. Okay, maybe it really does have to change on the depending the time of day. Didn't look it, but it could just be a daylight, a turn thing, it was the night time, it's something else. Yeah, okay, I can't even jump off this like I was afraid of. Fast sunrise, let's try the moon card. Possibly it was too early. Okay, I have officially no idea where the fuck I'm going anymore. That did something, but I activated this thing in here, and now I have no idea where the fuck I'm going. Oh, uh, I'm an idiot. I think I see where, where I can go now. I didn't see it last time. <laughs> Hold on. Let me check something real quick. Ah, it's nothing. Give me a moment, folks. To, uh, I gotta take a break. I'll be back in a little bit. I, I, I have a good idea where I'm going. Just give me a moment to... Take a bit of a break. All right, break time over. All right. Honestly, if I'm touching on Cosmania, I might incorporate this shit into it somewhat. Just for the hell of it. Like, mind you, I'm, I'm absolutely going with the little, the way the cat, the, the idea behind the castle and such introduced in Symphony of the Night because it's fucking Symphony of the Night. Yeah, I, I see an area I can go there now. I, I didn't see it before. Well, at least I didn't take the fall damage. That is funny. <laughs> Fuck it. Nope, we're, we're, we're just gonna load in and... Go back in. All healed up. And also less time wasted. It's... <laughs> part the most developed parts tend to be uh, the parts I want to focus on. That's also part of it. But yeah, I really should just have been using this. It's been a while. I've forgotten this was here. I remember this level in general. I do not remember every detail of it. Unfortunately. Oh dear. Aha, aha. Let me in so I do not get smacked with the spike stick. Oh good. Unexpected momentum.
Yeah, I forgot that thing just straight up yeets ya. Oh, don't. Anyway, so. Stupid fucking inverted, uh. Aha! Finally! And that fixes block. Ugh, I need healing items, damn it. I mean, I suppose that's meant to be in case you keep wasting your shit on a. Your sub weapons, but uh, much like Henry, you don't really need to do that with her. Oh, good, okay. and I'll heal. Still, I might invoke Renard as a uh, actual shopkeeper at some point because th that could be fun. The players that okay, well, generally, uh, you do, do want to avoid meta gaming, and I, you know, I, I just talked about not mentioning stuff, but like, I feel like that's minor enough the possibility of using a uh, a uh, shopkeep that's, you know. Oh, now I've been waiting for this. At last we reached the climax. Oh, I guess I bought too many things from you, after all. I'm going to take my leave. There's a small thing I require from you. If I, that's scroll you have used so often. Did you read what it says? Should have bought some more stuff from you beforehand. An ancient demon script. Impossible to read. Trained in ancient demon script. How sweet. What is us? Made to a contract with Satan. And there are three selling gold pieces and your soul is forfeit. I think it's far more than this amount. I now force the contract. Okay, well, I was trying to avoid fighting him. Your soul is mine. So, you know, players might, you know, me saying what I did, players might not decide they don't really want to uh, engage with that. But, well, that's on me for, you know, coming up with the idea as we go. Of course, I might. No guarantee I'd pl play it straight. You know what? Run on. Holy shit, that was trivial. You know what? I don't think I'm going to have to worry about anything. I'll just sit on the rest of my money. I Girl is, uh, more than fine. I'm loaded up with he powerful heals. I ain't got no issues, I think. Yeah, I think there was, if, I, if I didn't make it in time in four days, there, there was another fight, fight I would have there. Unless I'm wrong. Maybe he shows up here. Come on, come in. <laughs> well, you dare oppose the power of darkness. It is death you seek. I remember you being a pain in the ass now that we're here. Do I need to do I need to hit your head? Because I feel like I need to hit your he head. As you wish. Come, I will tear you limb from limb. Yeah, as long as I can get something distance between him and Ha 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 ha! Eat homing Magic Blast, bitch. Yeah, I am completely fine. Holy shit, yeah, not not needing to be in melee range. Henry would be great. I feel like, holy shit. <laughs> so you thought you had won. Well, it's not so simple. Look, sure, how do you oppose my evil might? That's just rule. Die, weak fool. Yeah. Yeah, that could be a fun mechanic. Have the players run across that at one point, uh, and of course, when they catch it, boom. They could try to decide to ditch it, or they could do do an interesting and keep a hold of it until you know. Uh, 
they feel like it's safe amount and so on. But you know, you never guarantee because it's, I, I, it's like, well, I don't think I'd come down too hard on metagaming on every freaking level. But yeah, I, hmm, I might with that. They haven't given me a safe spot in a bit. Strike that is evil's fast as even trackless foul or a mouse. What are you? You have destroyed my turns. I did not expect such power. Enough now you face the Dark Lord himself. What? Not Dracula, you the Dark Lord? Oh no! Bishi Dracula. Name so have also absorbed his weird Pegasus mount. No others. Imbeciles, you thought you could defeat me. I would be only doing it in my full power. Now I will crush you. I, Dracula of that Tephus. Flames, welcome the return of your master. You have killed my servant, the guardian of my sleeping spirit. Now, yeah, after years, I returned in the body of this child. Named him, it's last so long. Ah, the wasted years. I live again. The worms, your rightful lord, has returned. Wrap the world in darkness to crush all to my will. On your knee before the mites of Dracula. It's me and die. Oh god. Man, what, it would sure be nice if I had a functioning lock-on system. Holy shit. Yep. Thankfully, I have a, a, a actually fairly quality lock-on system. Not perfect. Oh my god. Yeah, we're not. Nope. I don't even think that happened to me in my, any of my other fights. I fucked up hard. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to go in with the... Uh... I got these saved up. I might as well fucking use them. I don't believe he has another form after this. Ha ha ha! You knock me on my ass and I fucking knock your fucking head off. Now, I think he does have one final form. Maybe I'm wrong. Where am I? What has happened to me? You cannot deceive me. Yep, he's not there to save us if uh, in the bad end, which I've never gotten so far. Yeah, take too long and he gets vamped. But I think that's only if you go into the... Uh, take too long at a certain point in the game. Ha! Your prince is a fully. You still got to say this child in is really Dracula. Ha! Try to stop me, would you? Miserable human scum. Oh, do you think you can oppose me? Very well. The tower or the true shape of Dracula. Yeah. I forgot he looked like that. Yeah, yeah the centipede legs are uh, definitely a different twist on his transformations than usual. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Holy shit, I didn't even uh, do the save thing I did before. You know what? It might be worth it to save most of these for... Uh, Ah, I keep f fucking up with that. You know, oh, wait, I know how to make this better. There we go. Now I can see a little more around me. I got plenty of heals, so I can just afford to tank shit. God damn, fuck you. Fuck. God, ugh. God, fuck you. Why am I having so much worse luck here? Okay, I managed to get two slacks then. Man, even fully charged with the power-ups boosting her. This shit's barely doing any goddamn thing. This is not lock-on. They really need to know what lock-on meant, apparently. Lock-on means stay fucking targeted. This is look in front of me. 
You know what this is? It's a center camera. The, the, the center camera. Yeah? It's not log on. No world is this what lock on means. Fuck it, I'll take it. Uh, he's got his own home homing bullshit too, so that's not great for me, but oh, thank goodness. There's finally a time where I can get multi hits on him. <laughs> Now I'll save. Save. I'll just heal up. The uh, added effects to making it so he uh, generates thermal barrack bomb on blasts. So I've got enough heals to carry me through. Yep. Not enough for one final hit against them, but. Uh, Holy shit, yeah, okay, they just kept fucking hitting me. I hate these things. I hate them for all, uh, a couple reasons, but the biggest is that they're... Absolutely valid targets for the, uh... Various different attacks I have that should be, uh, fucking him up. God. Just instantly fucking wiping me. There we go. Fuck you. Stop fucking. It's flack. That's what it is. Yeah, see, if lock on was actually, you know, fucking useful and let me goddamn actually fucking control where my shots went, almost there, this would be trivial. But because the controls are ass, and even, even though the controls are so much fucking better than in the, uh, in 64, they're still ass because lock on doesn't lock on, it just makes you look a direction. There we go. Even if you discount uh, all the save states, I still think this would have uh, been a fairly quick thing. I was not expecting it to last past the day, and uh, yeah. But next week we'll be storing Circle of the Moon in, in its place. I have no idea how long that's gonna be or anything, because I, yeah, I never played past the first few minutes of Circle of the Moon as a kid. I just, you know, had it and played it. It might not even been the one I, I, I'm thinking of that was playing. I had, had a Castlevania GDVA game. I think Circle of the Moon is it. Yeah. And so nothing else, I do like the idea of Renan, and I'm definitely going to use them in Patrick Kane. Or really, yeah. Potentially other games, you know, having, giving the uh, players a mobile shopkeep they can use. But it's pulling out of contract. And, yeah, I will say, well, I might, uh, yeah, I'll go full force with the way it is. I honestly don't know how I, I'll handle it, because, like... I could all, cause I also do like the idea of a demon who's just like, yeah, I'm running a business to make money. But Claus, take your soul? Why would I do that? That means you can't pay me, keep paying me money. I like money. I use money. It's Ventilia since you visited him. It's Ventilia since you visited your mother's grave. Yes. Are you sure you want to go down there? Yeah. I'll take you up the hill. Thank you. This is fine. I want to, know, I want to walk the rest of the way. Yeah, Rosa's storyline just stop, stops being a thing. In between, uh, in her, in her quest playthrough. Of course, I think the idea is that they're both doing this thing in simultaneous. They both showed up and did it, and they both had their own thing. So, Rosa gets saved by Reinhardt, and she puts down the fern as, uh, the Empire. Dude, maybe it was supposed to have more connection to her? It feels like it should have, but, you know, I don't think so. Maybe? I don't know. Apparently, Angry Video Game did or did a review of this game, and uh, or at least the first one, and uh, thought a lot of it was shit. Now, obviously, he played up a lot of it to a degree, especially at that point. Like he'll he'll go on long rants about how a game is shit, even when it's one of the good ones. 
and you know he actually likes it. That it's the joke, but hell, he didn't do he did that one the, the service on there, and some of his he apparently complained about the Mandragora thing, and uh, yeah, I'll be honest with you, the Mandragora thing kind of sucked, and the the Nitro thing did suck. It would significantly be less bad if the control game controlled better, but and in fact, it did suck gonna be less bad in this game and that but even in that only so much because I could cheese it via <laughs> if I had to deal with it without it it'd be a pain in the ass just like it was with, yeah it would have been normally it's just you know not not exactly a fun story it. And I'm like, I know some people are like, well, it's a punishing game, so it's not really supposed to be like, eh, 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 eh. you know. I don't think there's any reward for uh, finishing this. Literally, all I do is get taken to the "Would you like to to save" thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and not, not no, got no reason for me to do that. I've, yeah. So, Castlevania 64 and Legacy of Darkness. Same basic game. I think Legacy of Darkness is the better game. Uh, apparently, uh, but I can't remember it, uh, 64 does have some better music stuff and expands the story a little bit for the first two. But frankly, I find Cornell's story a, at least a little bit more interesting than Reinhardt's. Uh, and unless something is severely missing from hers, uh, Carrie too. So, he's... A, Henry's not got much to him, but I do like the idea of the kid you going at and saving, returning to the mansion during the events of the first game, and saving a bunch of the kids who were supposed to, we did hear about being taken, even though we only ever found uh, Malice. Here's the other kids. That's a nice touch. Even if it's extraordinarily bare fucking bones. And honestly, his his weapon attack stuff is super duper fun. With Henry, it's great. It's great. But it's also got a lot of really, really fucking awful platform. And I'm sorry, you could say it's well, it's punishing. No, it's just not well designed. The fact that you've got, uh, I'm just going to say it, Stockholm Syndrome for it, doesn't fucking make it, at, you know, good design. It's still bad design. You just got conditioned yourself into thinking... It's good because you managed to conquer the bad design, but it's still bad design. Still, overall, I do like it. It has some neat ideas in it. And, uh... I wouldn't have said... think I would have, wouldn't have said no for some better design games of this type for the next gen... gen for, you know, PS2 era consoles and such. In fact, I know there's some 3D Castlevanias for the PS2. I've never played them, so I don't know what the fuck they're like. But we'll get to them eventually. They're uh, not high on the list, both because it's, you know, if I had gotten this, started this uh, a little earlier than uh, October, like I thought, I would have gladly launched into one of those other ones. But as it is, I'm going to go for something shorter, uh, and that's since, you know, it's later in the month. Uh, but ne the next month, year, we'll probably start, do the uh, 2DS ones, because, you know, uh, I'll have them. Because I'm still getting that, even if I'm not going to stream them. I might even do them earlier than I originally planned, but. I have so much other shit there I want to do. Uh, yeah, when I finish uh, nah, when I finish Four's bonus gameplay, I will probably switch to just focusing on uh, Castlevania Circle of Moon, all things considered. And uh, yeah, if I finish that, I'll probably do uh, the next uh, GBA game because I know there's a couple. I can't remember them all off the top of my head right then now, but. Harmony of Dissonance. Yep, those are the two ones. Well, I mean, of course, there's Aria of Sorrow, but I've already done Aria of Sorrow. So, yeah, yeah, that's what I think. Uh, Circle of the Moon, first boy uh, for that console. Harmony of Dissonance next. And uh, if I beat the game fast enough, and then, uh, like that, I won't be starting 14 up immediately, so what I'm thinking of doing is starting up Parallel Worlds. Seeing where that takes me as my only game, and depending on where that goes and how I'm feeling, I might end up just doing two, two streams or something of it. I don't know. Uh, starting something else up. Maybe I'll finally get around to doing uh, Ratchet & Clank 3. God, that, that, that does have 
that does have a strong appeal. But yeah, this is Ivory I will see you all next time.